Totten Manhua or Manhua with OPMC. Ever since I was little, I have been reading a lot of manga and manhua, and in all of the stories, we see characters unlocking their true potential. For example, Goku unlocked his potential to become the legendary Super Saiyan, or Sasuke going from an average seeking vengeance to a legend. It's an essential element in any great shonen manga. This dramatic moment where your hero finally reaches his true powers and changes the course of history forever. We are going to explore the list of Korean or Chinese webtoons or manhua or manhua with OPMC. Starting off with our number 10, Inoch, a girl of destiny. This is so good, and it's get better and better by every chapter. Created at the height of a world war, Chimerians, hybrid humans who gain superpowers from being infused with animal DNA, had quickly fallen into discrimination once their usefulness had worn out. Zero One, a grizzled veteran Chimerian, lives day to day beating up gangsters and searching for medicine to prolong his life when suddenly a character from his past drops hope for him in the form of a real cure. The catch? He has to escort Hinoch, a young, mysterious girl, to safety while the world's governments all target her. The fighting scenes are done well executed and the world building is also very good. Number 9. Dungeon Odyssey Honestly, I've been bored out of my mind lately since I haven't been able to find anything to read, but I'm so glad I found this. It's probably one of the best manuals I have read in a couple of months. Story is great, the art is extremely amazing considering the low chapter count and I love the character and world building. In the depths of the underground world live the descendants who were born and raised by feeding the teeth of beasts. These individuals with special abilities and enhanced physical abilities were known as dungeon babies. Amongst them, Kim Jun Woo was born in the labyrinth on the lowest floor. I have never tried to become strong, I just wanted to survive. This is a story of a lowly tunnel digger who ascends the throne to become the king of a labyrinth. Overall, this is a great read and I can't wait for more chapters. Number 8. I became an S-rank hunter with the Demon Lord app. There was a boy who lived in the present age of dungeons. His hunter aptitude was the lowest grade of F, which was a brand and proof that although he was a hunter, his power was not much different than from of ordinary people. One day, he is betrayed by his friends in the dungeon and left behind as bait to a pack of demons. While hungry demon wolves devour the boy's throat, he despairs of the unfairness of talent and continues his unsatiable search for power, and he hears the voice of the world. Strong desire of the power confirmed, starting Demon Lord application as the vessel of the Demon Lord power player Ijima Hiroto has been selected. The boy breaks through a wall of talent, one after another with his overwhelming ability to grow through the Demon Lord app. The action drama of the young hunter oppressed by the world begins. Number 7. Nostalgic Warrior so Chian Ho returns to his homeland after a decade of war and learns that his father has passed away and his disciple brother, who was no different from his family, had disappeared without a trace. He briefly spends pleasant days with his childhood friend, So Hai, but is entrusted with her daughter, Yu Yun, before she dies of a disease. Chion Ho, who has lost everything, starts an endless war against the martial artist in order to protect Yu Yun. This is a must try for guys who want ruthless characters. Number 6. The First Order It's actually pretty good. It's a post-apocalyptic manga where after the apocalypse occurred, some people build cities and whilst around them the strong and the powerful live outside the city while the weak are forced to live outside the walls, where they have to work hard every day to make ends meet. MC also lives outside the walls and he wants to educate his brother. MC is a hunter who goes out in the wild and hunts wild animals and sells them. One day he gets a system. The system assigns him mission and on completion of those missions, MC gets rewards in return. This is actually pretty good and a unique concept for an apocalyptic manga. Moving on to our number 5. Apocalyptic Forecast Life never seems to go Hawaii's way. No friends, no family, no money. 
he applies for a job as a restaurant musician, but it turns out to be an ad for Gigolo. This is no way for a main character with a cheat to live. However, when the supernatural finally starts catching up with him, he begins to wish it never did. It is more of a manhwa where MC is a regular human by a chance encounter he gets a cheat system and now he's on the radar of some supernatural ability users. Its novel is also quite famous. Number 4. The Monstrous Goy Childhood friends Seung Won, Do Hee, and Song Min continued their cherished friendship even when they entered high school. However, Song Min has disappeared due to the appearance of grotesque creatures called Goy. As they searched for their friend Song Min, they found few secrets. Will Seung Won be able to bring his childhood friend back? This manhwa has superpowers which look a little bit similar to Jojo Stan's. Main character has more of a cool guy type personality. Side characters are also written pretty well. The art is also good and there are a decent amount of fighting scenes. Overall story of this manhwa is good but there are some minor errors in the execution department. Number 3. Seoul Station Duet what started out as an ordinary day turned upside down when an unknown catastrophe struck Earth, transporting Suho Park to a different planet. He eventually learns how to adapt and fight for his survival in this foreign world. But one day, just as suddenly as he was sucked into this new planet, Suho is pulled back to Earth. He quickly learns that returning to life as he remembers it is no longer possible as Earth is in constant battle with monsters who have managed to infiltrate the planet. How will Suho fight against the monsters attacking Earth? And will he be able to survive this time with his current skills? If you are looking for something similar, I would recommend Limit Breaker and the constellation that returned from Hell, then this is for you. Number 2. Seoul Station's Necromancer After years of fighting for survival on planet Alphen, Kang Woo Jin had become a fearsome necromancer and ruler of his own territory. But now that he's finally found a way back to Earth, he's nothing more than a low-level player clearing dungeons for cash. Soon enough though, Wu Jin's undeniable skills have major kills vying for his attention. And just in time, because with Wu Jin's old enemy threatening invasion, those skills might be the only thing standing between humanity and destruction. Pretty good so far. Similar to other ones but with a good flow into it. And finally number 1. The Frozen Player Returns when Seo Zuno and his companions sacrificed themselves to defeat the Frost Queen, they thought they were restoring peace to Earth. But after 25 years of being frozen solid, Zuno thaws out only to find that 9 more floors appeared in his absence, only one of which has been cleared. As the only one who holds the key to clearing the next floor and defrosting his friends, Zuno must set up once again. But has this hero been in hibernation for too long to take on the world's fearsome new foes? An interesting way to tell a story about gates or levels and skills which is highly classic, the main character is interesting and I appreciate the fact that he has a clear goal. So ladies and gentlemen, we conclude our tutor's list with that. But before we leave, make sure you leave with a thumbs up to the video. We really work hard for bringing content for you guys. Therefore, a like to the video will be really motivating. If you have any sorts of queries or suggestions, the comment section is always open too. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to us so you won't be missing out on any of our updates as we are sure to bring you more quality content in the future times. Till another one, see ya and goodbye.